everyone, David here once again. Uh, today's topic is going to be about learning to disappoint your disappointment. Um, and the reason for this is that, you know, any business, let's let's say um, if you get like any type of business, like like network marketing, or you want to run your, or you want to like, like run your own restaurant, or become, or whatever you want to do in life, uh, chances are you're going to run into, chances are you're going to run into disappointments. Either people on your team might quit, uh, you might, you know, have, you might get rejected. Uh, people may not be, people may not be, you know, fair. But whatever disappointments you come across, you can't let disappointments control you. You have to learn to discipline your disappointment. Now, some people may be dis some people may be disappointed for a long period of time before they're able to uh, overcome the disappointments, and some people may be disappointed for maybe just a sh for a short period of time. The thing is, you cannot let dis you cannot let disappointments um, bring you down or 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 control you because if you let disappointments bring you down and control you, you are prevent you are preventing yourself from achieving the goals you want to in life. So. It's like you need to. It's like it's like you need to tell you. It's like you need to be. You need to disappoint your your disappointment. You tell your dis disappointments no that you don't want that you do not want to be let down. You want to be able to achieve your goals. So this is why it's important to always discipline your disappointment. Always, you know, look forward to the future, strive for your goals, and succeed. With that being said, this is David. Thank you for watching and hope to see you and talk soon. Bye.